Chapter 1 Roman Numerals In our previous class we have already studied that the Romans used seven symbols that is i v x l c d and m to write any number look at this table here we have compared the roman numerals with that of the symbols used in hindu arabic value where symbol i used by the romans is equal to number 1 in the hindu arabic numerals symbol v is equal to numeral 5 symbol x is equal to numeral 10 symbol l is equal to numeral 50 symbol c is equal to numeral 100 symbol d is equal to numeral 500 and symbol m is equal to numeral 1000 there is no zero in the roman system an important difference between the decimal system and the roman system is that the roman system does not use place value even though roman numbers are not widely used here we use them in clocks and classroom numbers in schools let us now see the important rules for writing the roman numerals rule 1 symbols i x c and m can be repeated to represent the numbers symbols i x and c cannot be repeated for more than 3 times symbols v l d cannot be repeated for more than once to understand this better let us see some examples to denote hindu arabic number 3 The Roman number I is used thrice like this I I I which is also equal to 3 To denote Hindu Arabic number 30 the Roman number X is used thrice X X X To denote Hindu Arabic number 300 the Roman number C is used thrice C C C Rule 2 A smaller numeral written to the right of a numeral of greater value is always added to the greater numeral For example symbol V I is written as 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6 Symbol X V is written as 10 plus 5 which is equal to 15 symbol l x is written as 50 plus 10 which is equal to 60 symbol c x is written as 100 plus 10 which is equal to 110 rule 3 a smaller numeral written to the left of a numeral of greater value is always subtracted from the greater numeral for example i written to the left of v is 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 x written to the left of l is 50 minus 10 which is equal to 40 x written to the left of c is 100 minus 10 which is equal to 90 rule 4 when a smaller number is placed between two numerals of greater value it is always subtracted from the greater numeral immediately following it example x i v equals to 10 plus 5 minus 1 which is equal to 14 here i written to the left of v is subtracted from v x x i x equals to 10 plus 10 plus 10 minus 1 which is equal to 29 here i written to the left of x is subtracted from x c x 
x i v equals to 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 minus 1 equals to 124. Here I written to the left of V is subtracted from V. The symbol I can be subtracted from V and X. The symbol X can be subtracted from L and C. The symbol C can be subtracted from D and M. Symbols V, L, D are never subtracted. Numerals up to 100 can be written with the help of 5 symbols I, V, X, L and C. Now let us convert Hindu Arabic numeral to Roman numeral. A. Convert Hindu Arabic number 48 to Roman numeral. 48 is equal to 40 plus 8. 40 is written in Roman numeral as X, L and 8 is written as V, I, I, I. So, 48 equals to X, L, V, I, I, I. B. Convert Hindu Arabic number 77 to Roman numeral. 77 equals to 70 plus 7. 70 is written as L, X, X and 7 can be written as V, I, I. So, 77 equals to L, X, X, V, I, I. C. Hindu Arabic number 98 to Roman numeral number. 98 is equal to 90 plus 8. 90 is written as X, C and 8 is written as V, I, I, I. So, 98 is equal to X, C, V, I, I, I. Let us now convert Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals. A. Roman numeral L, X, X, V, I. L, X, X, V, I equals to L plus X, X plus V, I which is equal to Hindu Arabic number 50 plus 20 plus 6 which is equal to 76. B. Roman numeral X, C, V, I, I. X, C, V, I, I can be split into X, C plus V, I, I which is equal to Hindu Arabic number 90 plus 7 which is 97. Representing numbers as pictures. Look at the pictures and answer the following questions by counting. 1. Find out the number of bears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 bears. 2. Find out the number of deer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there are 8 deer, 3, how many monkeys are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 5 monkeys, 4. How many tigers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 tigers. 5. How many birds are there? 1, 
two, three. There are three birds. Six. How many more deer are there than bears? There are eight deer and six bears. So there are two deer more than bears. Seven. How many less monkeys than tigers? There are ten tigers and five monkeys. So there are five monkeys less than tigers. Eight. How many more tigers than birds? There are ten tigers and three birds. So there are seven tigers more than birds. Bar graph. This is a bar graph. Here the picture of the animals are removed and instead the space is colored to represent the numbers. Now look at the numbers written beside the table and answer the questions without counting the colored boxes. How many bears? There are 6 bears. How many deer? There are 8 deer. How many monkeys? There are 5 monkeys. How many tigers? There are ten tigers. How many birds? There are three birds. How many more deer than bears? There are eight deer and six bears. So there are two deer more than bears. How many less monkeys than tigers? There are ten tigers and five monkeys. So there are five monkeys less than tigers. How many more tigers than birds? There are ten tigers and three birds. So there are seven tigers more than birds. This is a method of representing numbers as picture is known as a bar graph.